Hello everyone, my name is Zbigniew Mikulski, I will be your host at the incoming workshop and I wanted to spend a few minutes and um, tell you about the very important stuff to do. Today we're gonna go through the motions together and we'll try to find some space on your laptop um, to have enough um, uh, space for the files that you will need to download. Um, we'll install the software We'll also try to understand a little bit more how your computer uses memory and um, which applications we're not going to be going great together with QPath if you have just a few gigabytes of memory um, installed in your computer. So first things first, let's have a look at my um, um, my desktop and um, I think uh, we can all relate to this um, at least in some portions of our life, it's kind of difficult to find anything here. So I'm going to do myself a favor. I'm going to mark all of this, um, uh, hitting Ctrl and A. And I'm actually going to make a new folder here. I'm going to mark everything with the exception of that particular um, um, uh, folder. I'm just going to move over stuff here. And nothing happened because I think I made a copy instead of... Um, I actually made a shortcut. Excellent. Um, this is how not to do it. Let's do it again. And now I'm going to hold right mouse button. And if I drop it here, he's going to ask me whether I want to create shortcuts or move. I'm going to move it there. And things will be um, shouting at me saying I cannot do it. And that's fine. We'll just skip all that we cannot do. Skip. Fine. OK. Now this looks a little cleaner. Um, I still have all of my stuff here. And um, that's kind of neat. I have um, a lot of space now where I can um, put the shortcut to QPath and, um, and, and do all of that. So let's start by getting the software. Uh, as you can see, I'm working on Windows 10 computer. I'm sorry, I don't have a Mac. I don't know Macs. I cannot help you there. Um, but you will find plenty of information um, online. So in case you have uh, somehow restricted computer, your IT doesn't want you to do things, um, you can download this um, zipped version. Um, and this is going to come in a folder. Um, you will have to extract that. I'm going to temporarily put it into, actually not my downloads. I'm going to put it somewhere where it's easier to find. So I've made myself a folder in um, in my root drive in my C and it's called software. I have a couple of versions of QPath and I'm just going to make a new folder. And I'm going to put it there. Okay, so once it's there, I can navigate towards it. So I, I do need to remember somehow where I put it. And now I can just find the application and now instead of moving it to the desktop, it would be much better to actually create a shortcut. So I'm holding my right mouse button when I'm dragging it over. And I'm going to create shortcut here. And we have keypad up and running on a Windows computer. And this method did not require installation. Um, so if you have any problems with uh, enhanced security on your computer, that's the way how you can get it on. 
Um, for everybody else, you can get the standard Windows installer. Um, this will um, conveniently create work uh, shortcuts on your desktop. Okay, so the next thing would be to look at the features and um, um, uh, discover new ways how to analyze multiplex data. Um, I will download this file. And I will show you how to run through the script that will test if the installation on my computer was successful. So I will need to grab this as well. And I'm already opened the form that we're going to use to report the data back. Okay. So now just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to um, open the folder that contains my downloaded data. And there is a bunch of stuff. And this is our slides that we want to um, work on. And I'm just going to copy this over to the desktop. This time move is a smart move. And I also should have a script. Run the script. Here we go. So we have those two things. We have QPath. We're going to open QPath. I'm going to start a little um, help here. I'm going to show you um, anytime I'm clicking a mouse button, it's going to show up here. And anytime I'm using um, an arrow key, it's going to show it here. If I press any key, uh, it's going to give you that information over here. So I will grab that file and drag it over. And QPath asks me what image type it is. I will say this is an HNE. And then I'm going to drag the script over, drop it in here, and then go run and run. It may take you any anywhere from a minute to a few minutes. Um, if it's running significantly longer, or if it um, crashes your computer, then we have a problem. Um, and we should um, you should you should talk to us. Um, come early to the workshop. Um, give yourself plenty of time so we can um, figure out what to do. Um, if you're running on a very 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 old computer, um, it might be just it. Uh, it might be that the computer cannot handle um, that much stuff anymore. So now, as the script is running, I would like to show you. Um, how my computer memory and um, uh, resources are ut utilized. So I open Task Manager. Um, on a Windows computer, you can access it by clicking Control uh, or pressing Control Alt and Delete on your keyboard, and then selecting Task Manager. Um, notice that my computer is using um, a lot of um, my processor power um, by QPath. And it's also using a lot of memory. So QPAT actually on my computer eats um, about 10 gigabytes of memory. And um, this is great because memory is really fast. So all of those cell detections um, that I, I, ju I just have here, um, they comfortably fit in that memory. And um, we have um, 40,000 cells. And um, um, QPath very efficiently and effectively allocated the resources of my computer um, to do the task um, as quickly as possible. Now, notice that I also have another application here, Google Chrome. And um, a lot of browsers, they use up a lot of your computer memory. So especially if you're running on a resource-limited computer, you may need to close 
um, other uh, pieces of software that run simultaneously with Hubat. So we do have the results. Um, this is a script that uh, we wrote to um, figure out um, how fast your computers are. So we could, um, uh, we could, um, you know, um, have a better understanding of um, your hardware capabilities. Okay, so we scroll down over here because it already finished processing, and we're gonna go to um, this website. Um, it's gonna take us to the document over here, and then we're gonna put the data in. So this is. Sixty plus sixteen point um, one four nine two. Seventy six point four nine two. And we have forty thousand two hundred eighty one cells. Okay, and we are good to go. If you got zero or very few cells or something didn't work, um, go ahead and check if the problem that you had was not already uh, figured out by someone at the QPath forum. I'm gonna open this link. It's a very, very, very friendly community that. Um, um, collectively solved a lot of problems so far. And we're still struggling to achieve world peace, but we're working on it. Um, yep, and um, very soon there's gonna be a few more links. So there's gonna be a link to detailed scheduled, and there are gonna be there's also gonna be a link to the data over here. Now, speaking of data, you will need a lot of space on your computer to store them. Um, I mean, probably between 10 and 20 gigabytes, and I know we're all limited on space. Um, I wanted to show you this software called WinDirStat. This is um, a directory statistics software. It's an open source. And what it will do for us, it will um, allow us to see um, what the heck is um, consuming um, our right here? What the heck is consuming our um, resources or our our hard drive space on the computer? So move it over. Um, on this computer, I actually have to sign in to install something. Notice that I didn't have to sign in if I was using this um, um, easy to install version of um, QPad that does not actually require installation. And when we run it, we'll notice that um, this little funny Pac Man icon, <clears throat> as soon as it's done, it's going to tell us um, what is eating um, the space in our computer. And there's going to be a graphical map um, down here um, showing us that stuff. So um, I can already see that they have a lot of um, um, space that's um, that's eaten up by things in my temporary folder. There's a, a humongous amount of data um, in my users uh, folder. So let's see what's going on there. And um, it turns out that um, I have a whooping 17 gigabytes on the desktop and um, 18 gigabytes in the downloads folder and then 35 gigabytes in my documents. So those are typically videos or um, images, um, you know, files that you've copied from your cell phone and, and, and so on. And um, in my case, there is already a lot of CDI files. Um, those are uh, images from our slide scanner that we're going to be using on the um, workshop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up all of this 
because I want to have at least um, some space available on my computer. Um, I, I basically want this to be um, um, much um, um, emptier and I want to be able to put more files on it. Um, this is also going to speed up your computer. So especially if you're running and there's a very, very, very little space left, um, that computer will still slow down, it could crash more. So um, give it a little um, bit of space to work and um, clean up your files. If you are um, unable to, um, um, you know, move them um, because you don't have a, an additional storage device, I can highly recommend um, solid state drives, portable, uh, portable solid state drives. Um, let me see if I can Google it quickly for you. So I personally have a thing like this. It is a little expensive. Um, you can get them on uh, Amazon um, for typically, um, you know, if you run into a promotion, you can get it for about 50 bucks cheaper. Um, this is um, money well spent. Um, it's super fast. It's it's super compact um, and handy. It hands it fits into a palm of your hand, and um, you know maybe you don't need that much space, and you can you can get a little bit less for um, for um, a cheaper price. Um, but if you're running out of space um, on your laptop computer and you don't want to um, invest money into replacement of the internal hard drive, um, this might be a great great um, way to upgrade. Okay, so thank you so much for attention and um, hope you're going to um, use this um, to help yourself um, and bring a computer that's going to be um, a little better for the workshop. And very important thing, don't forget your computer mouse. You're going to be typically much faster if you do uh, have one on the workshop. Thank you so much. Have a great day.